Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. And today I am joined by Ruben Montero from Portugal. Ruben is a multi-instrumentalist and composer, and I just want to say welcome, Ruben Montero, to the World Fusion Show. Thank you very much. Hello. Well, it's it's great to have you. And um, uh, all the way from Portugal, uh, we're so lucky that we can do this and have great interviews with people all over the world, as if we were sitting right next to each other in person. Yes. Um, I wanted to start with just asking you a little bit about your background and, you know, how you got into music and growing up and all that. Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you very much for this opportunity. It's very good, uh, as you was you were saying, uh, to have this uh, chance to. It's like we are sitting ne uh, next to each other. So, uh, well, I started uh, st studying music when I was very young. I was more or less five years old, if I remember. I started to to play, you know, classical piano here in my hometown. I live in Torres Vedras. It's half an hour from Lisbon, from the Portuguese capital. Yeah. So it's a small city, but we have uh, everything <laughs> that we need. And uh, music, uh, classical music conservatory. And my mother was actually working there. And she's still working there, even today. So uh, she put me like to learn classical piano, very young. And then uh, when I was 10 years old, I changed to classical guitar. Uh, so uh, I studied all these uh, classical pieces, and then uh, I, I found, you know, heavy metal and progressive rock and all these bands like Metallica and Iron Maiden and all these all these groups. And then later, the Dream Theater, Tool, Opeth, and all these progressive rock bands that uh, influenced me even today. So I started to play electric guitar. I took it very seriously, and uh, I, I started to learn with a very well-known Portuguese electric guitar master. is Gonçalo Pereira. He's a virtuoso. He's amazing. He's a kind of a Steve Vai, Guthrie Govan style, you know. So I learned a lot with him, especially composition tools uh, around the modal music. Uh, you know, the how can I say, Western modal music, you know. Um, and then I started my, my, my bands, my heavy metal bands when I was young. And then uh, because of my academic, uh, you know, way, I, I went to the university in Lisbon to study archaeology. Mostly I study the cultures that we uh, have here or we had in the past that uh, made our history here. So I study a lot, you know, all, all the Mediterranean cultures that uh, came to, to Portugal and they built Portugal uh, culturally, if we can say it like that. Um, like the Romans, you know, like uh, the, the Arabic or the Islamic world was very strong here. The Jewish people, uh, you know, the, the Christian medieval, uh, you know, uh, culture also. So, uh, and I felt in love with this an ancestral or uh, how can I say? Yeah, ancestral music. And then I started to study... Uh, several um, ancestral instruments. That's how I, I more or less, I, I, I started. And, and I found uh, different musicians who made it at that time, like Efren Lopez is an amazing musician from Spain, Stelios Petrakis from, from Greece, Ross Daly from, uh, from Ireland, but he's now he's living in, in uh, Crete, so in, in Greece also, and, and many, many other musicians. So I found the Afghani Hubab, it's a, a Hubab from Afghanistan, you know, the Arabic and Turkish Oud or Lut. And then uh, the Cretan Lauto, the Erdi Gerdi, the Iberian Erdi Gerdi, and of course the Saz Balama from Turkey, which changed completely my life because I, I started to study uh, Turkish music in, in Istanbul, mainly with many teachers. So, and I, in uh, between all of these things, I was always very active as a composer with, with different bands. First with the uh, heavy metal and progressive rock bands. And then um, in a pr very progressive way also, <laughs> uh, 
I started to de develop uh, different, uh, how can I say, more ethnic and world music uh, projects uh, from the last uh, 13, 14 years from, from now. I've been very active with these instruments and this, this fusion thing. Yeah. Great. That's great. So we wanted to um, go to our first video, where which features you on the Hurdy Gurdy. Tell us quickly about this video. Okay, so the early girl is a very important instrument for me. Um, so what can I say quickly? So th this was my first composition for this instrument. I started to play early girl because of a kopanitsa. It's a traditional Bulgarian rhythm and dance. There is a very popular one recorded by Lam da Foc. It's a Catalan band from Efren Lopez. Uh, he's a big friend of mine and also my teacher uh, many years ago. So this was the song, that original Copanitsa, traditional one, that made me play Hardy Gurdy. So I, I, I thought one day when, I, when it will be possible for me to play Hardy Gurdy, my first composition will be, will be a Copanitsa. It's like 11 per 8 bar. Uh, so, but this is dedicated to my, to my daughter because she was like, uh, uh, I think she was one month of age. So I, uh, she's Laura. So, so it's Laura Nitsa. It's a mix of the Copa Nitsa and her name. So, uh, so it, it's, it's a, a composition with different modes. So I associate each mode to, to a different feeling of you know, being with the baby and so on. Uh, it was a very important composition for me at that time and even today.
right, we are back with Ruben Montero, and I love the hurdy gurdy, and I'm so glad we finally got a, a really a real hurdy gurdy player on the show. It's great to hear you do that. Now I wanted to just ask you about you've made many CDs of your music with various groups. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, so, uh, well, first of all, I'm a composer. So for a composer, I think the most important thing is to record. You know, it's, it's a way of, uh, uh, to give this uh, sense that we are alive as, uh, as a composers. So I have many ideas. I work with fusion, as you know. So I, I have different ideas. So I try to approach different uh, fusions with different groups. It's more or less like this. So, well, all these CDs are a kind of anthology also for me because every time that I learn something new, I want to try it and I record something with these uh, new techniques or new ways of composing, etc. So that's mainly what, what I can see about all these CDs. Yeah. That's great. So you have a lot of different bands, right? Well, actually... Um, not all of them are active, right. uh, but it's a way of segment or, or have my compositions in sections, different sections. Like uh, Kairos, I play mainly Oud and uh, Saz Balama. Like I have a progressive rock band, it's Duca, so all my heavy stuff are there. Right. With Al Balloon, I play mainly Hurdy Gurdy and Saz Balama and also Afghan Hubab. So it's a way of uh, creating sections in my brain. So, you know, it's... Different projects, yeah. Yeah. So um, tell us about this next video we're going to see. So we're going to see Noshak Atan. Noshak, it's actually a traditional dance from Afghanistan. Can be in different rhythms. So, But this one is in seven per eight bar. It was a composition that I made for Afghani Hubab. And also one of the dancers, is she's my wife. She's also creating, or uh, she created uh, choreography also with the uh, traditional Afghani dresses and uh, traditional, uh, inspired in a, in a traditional uh, choreography. So, and this is with Alba Luna, with my band. This is our uh, world uh, and ethnic uh, version, you know, it's, we are very well be, you know, dressed and yeah. Uh, yeah. We are very happy with that song. So. That's cool. Let's, let's go to the video right now.
are back with Ruben Montero. And um, I wanted to ask you about touring because you've done, gone to a lot of countries with your music and brought it to many people. Tell us a little about that. Well, it's, it's been amazing, you know. Uh, well, with this, the, the COVID uh, situation, we stopped a little bit. So, but now we are back on track. We are very happy with this. And uh, one of my main uh, objectives is actually is travel because when you travel, you uh, learn more and more. You understand better the, the cultures, etc. cetera. So, uh, and it's amazing to be able to do that. Even when, like, I'm, I, I'm practicing and I'm learning. I think we are all, all our life, during our, our life, we are learning. So I'm always learning something. I said the Saz Balama, Turkish Balama for many years, and, and it's amazing to, to go to Turkey and to play my own compositions like this one that we're going to to to, to see and to hear, like Yunesh, like play my compositions in the Turkish instrument, in a Turkish style for Turkish people. It's very good. And uh and it's it's one of the, the best things in uh, making this kind of music, it's being able to share it with uh well, you know, everybody. It's great. And so and I guess, how is your Turkish music received by Turkish people? Actually, it was very good. I was very uh, you know, anxious and afraid the first time that uh, I went for a, in, in a concert was in, in a very uh, important place. It's Guitar Cafe. It's in a um, Kadekoy area. It's in a specific, a specific place in Istanbul. Many, many uh, famous and important musicians also for me that inspired me. They played there. There were like pictures of all of these people on the walls and so on. And I played there and uh, with my teacher and friend, Sinan Aldis. It's like a god of the Saz Balama. So he was there looking at me and, and he was the one. Who, I was a little bit shy, you know, and he said, no, no, you are going to play your songs in uh, Saz Balama because I want to hear and all of... Uh, all the people want to hear how a Portuguese guy will play this instrument. So I tried my best, like uh, uh, like a real Turkish guy playing it, but it's always different, you know. It's sure, always different. Sure. sure so sure. and and uh, it's like that. I think they receive it very well. You know, that's great. I have very good friends there. Also, maybe it's because we are friends. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, that's fantastic. Let's go to watch this video right now.
Ruben Montero. Uh, I wanted to ask you about your philosophy of music and what you feel like your purpose is in bringing music to people. Well, mainly my own philosophy is about, you know, uh, how can I say, um, not use, but uh, in practice all these uh, old and ancient instruments and all these, uh, uh, learn all these uh, ways of making music and mix it and, and, and create a fusion with my own tradition that it's the progressive rock and so on. So it's, you know, this song that we're going to listen, it's all about this, you know, it's like uh, I compose it in a, in a traditional uh, rhythm from Greece or from Tracia or whatever. Uh, it's a nine per eight beat. Uh, so it's a Katsi Velikos rhythm. So play is a composition for a very ancient instrument that is early Gerdi with a very ancient rhythm, with a very ancient vibe, but you know, with all the power of the progressive rock, like like uh, tool energy or opeth energy, you know. So, uh, in the name of this song, it's uh, it to uh, something uh, with this, like uh, palimpsestus means like something that you use to like uh, when you like a paper or a rock when you write it, you can erase and rewrite again. You know, it's like reuse something to create new history. You know, so it's more or less like that. I I learn the best I can, like like uh, all these instruments in in their own tradition. Then I try to bring them to my reality. This is more or less my philosophy of making music. Right, right, very good. So let's go to the video right now and watch this. <laughs> say thank you so much for coming on the world fusion show today and sharing your music with our audience it's been great to have you oh i i i thank you the same i think it's very important for musicians like me you know having this kind of uh you know shows to 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 share our what we think about our music and so on it's it's not uh you know it's like not uh music for uh, you know for a massive uh, crowd so it's very good to have this this uh, 
time of attention of someone. And especially for me, I'm from Portugal. So talking for the United States, it's very, it's very good. So thank you for this opportunity. And uh, well, I, I wish you all the success and all the best for this, uh, for the World Fusion show and for you, Derek. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ruben, so much. It's been great to have you. Take care. Thank you. The same. Hey, it's Derek Jordan, and thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been great to have you. We have tons of great shows coming up, so please stay tuned, tell your friends, and let, help us spread this World Fusion music all over the place. Anyway, I want to say a thank you to our sponsors, Mackenzie Family Charitable Trust, Chris Pratt, Ron Dans, and um, uh, Nancy Feinberg for your generous support. And as we always like to say on the show, remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music. Music